Seth Meyers insults Trump in Golden Globes monologue, gets nasty surprise moments later. Seth Meyers hosted the Golden Globes on Sunday night, and naturally, he insulted President Donald Trump during his opening monologue. Moments later, the liberal comedian got a nasty surprise, which he totally deserved after attacking our POTUS in a shameless attempt to be funny. As time goes on, Hollywood award shows seem to become less about entertainment and more about political posturing. Indeed, few people can even recall who took home awards the next day, as attentions are more focused on what liberal talking points actors made during their speeches. That being the case, it's not exactly shocking that fewer and fewer people tune in to watch these awards shows each time they're aired. After all, most of us don't enjoy being lectured by out-of-touch celebrities. This year's Golden Globes proved to be no different. Late-night talk show host Seth Meyers broke the ice in his opening monologue by making President Donald Trump the butt of his jokes. As the camera panned to actor Seth Rogen, Meyers said, Remember when he was the one causing trouble with North Korea? Simpler times. But, Meyers' unwarranted attacks on the president did not stop there. Upon mention of the Hollywood Foreign Press Association, which chooses the winners for the Golden Globes, Myers said, a string of three words that could not have been better designed to infuriate our president, Hollywood Foreign Press. The only name that would make him angrier would be the Hillary Mexico Salad Association. He went on to suggest that Oprah Winfrey should run against Donald Trump in 2020. Oprah Winfrey may have squashed speculation of a potential presidential bid in 2020, but Golden Globes host Seth Meyers isn't giving up hope just yet. In 2011, I told some jokes about our current president at the White House Correspondents' Dinner, jokes about how he was unqualified to be president, Meyers said during his opening monologue Sunday night. And some have said that Knight convinced him to run. And if that's true, I would just like to say Oprah you will never be president. You do not have what it takes, he joked. Source, CNN. Myers even joked that Tom Hanks should run alongside Oprah, saying, and Hanks. Where's Hanks? You will never be vice president. With all of this Trump bashing, Myers quickly became a trending topic on social media. However, proving just how irrelevant he truly is. So many people spelled his name wrong that Twitter began showing Myers as a trending topic. This, of course, is not the correct spelling of the comedian's last name. I see Seth Myers is trending, the biggest night of his career and they're misspelling his name en masse, that's hold, commented one Twitter user. Dear Seth Myers, 1. You are not funny, 2. You are weak, 3. Trump is a genius, get over it. We did someone else according to Chicks on the Right. Coincidentally, the reaction to Meyer's opening monologue turned out to be a very accurate manifestation of what is truly important. In the grand scheme of things, the opinions of a liberal comedian whose name his fans can't even spell right are not particularly relevant. President Donald Trump, on the other hand, is the most powerful man in the world. I wonder who is more important, the guy whose fans don't even know his name or the man who defeated ISIS and turned the economy around during his first year in office? Seems to me a pretty simple choice to make, is to make.